Humankind in the year 2023 stands for everything super, supersonic, super cities to super space. Speed has become the essence of our life, where time has become our currency of exchange. Life requires movement and speed our flow. And when the flow stops, jams, riots, losses, anger, we explode. Rivers are no different. When their flows stop, they flood. They stagnate and affect the state of our cities. We forget rivers are dynamic ecosystems offering rich basins from which great civilizations evolved. We are gifts of rivers. We are rivers. Rivers have been a point of inspiration, blessing our creativity, activating our enterprise. And our Indian subcontinent has been a land blessed with rivers that shape our diverse landscape, its people, lifestyles and culture. Rivers have also become our pulse to larger issues. And the health of rivers reflect the health of our cities. Our advances seem to have effectively pushed the rivers into the background of our flows. We built into the riverbeds to maintain our course. We claim river banks to bridge our movements. We dump our excesses to clog its currents. When the river reacts like us, expressing its stress as floods, droughts, calling for our attention and understanding. We seem to be too busy focusing on our own flows. For them to sustain, they require to be a part of our effective life cycles and not channels for dumping waste. As part of the larger ecosphere, their unhealthy state is as much a climate change warning and our careless role in it. A deeper warning that our planet is giving us and the state of our rivers. It's unhealthy pulse for us to recognize and treat. While the governments and the best minds think of big solutions, is there a role for common citizens? Is there a role for you and me? Can we shift our narrative from waste to wealth creation? Instead of blaming the government to claiming responsibility, can rivers transform from being our sewage backyards to becoming our fronts of ecopreneurship? India, the land of Jugaad, has some good news and ecopreneurs rising to this challenge. Starting in Kanpur, where the mighty Ganga is the worst affected by industrial pollution, Karan Rastogi's call for help us green has become a movement. Uh, my journey of this startup began in 2012. I started visiting a temple which my father used to visit for the last 30 years. On seeing the heap of flour just outside the temple on the bank of the Ganges, monkeys are making a chaos out of it. So that is where the idea struck that why should not these places be clean? I called up my childhood friend Ankit. We uh, came across incense sticks. And why should not we convert them into incense sticks? Because this is a thing which will be used on a daily basis. And that is the most effective way to cure the waste. These are dope sticks, odorless, this is then dipped in oil, it's a zero waste solution. Sometimes it's human waste and at others, nature's response to pollution we create like water hyacinths. These green aquatic plants with pretty purple flowers innocently cover urban water bodies like a blanket, in the process rendering the marine ecosystem helpless. In the northeast of the country, an entrepreneurial model has been created. This ties the skills and livelihoods of grassroots craft communities to creating an ecological solution 
for our city's dying waters. Dear P, my organization has been working in craft sector. In 2007, I went to Bangkok as a part of investment summit. There I saw the potential because they have working with the water hyacinth there. But, and from we got the first trainers group and then we continued getting those groups for three more programs from 12, 13 and 14. And then I prepared our master trainers and that's how this is now. It's one of the good craft established in the state of Assam at least. People know about water hyacinth. Those master trainers whom we have trained way back in 2008, 2010, 2012, they also have become individual entrepreneurs. I have water hyacinth for 12 years. What have done? First time to know that this is the water hyacinth for the first time. This is the water hyacinth First time to know that the water hyacinth is so long. वो दो फुट के ऊपर हो तो ज़्यादा अच्छा है वो दो फुट के नीचे हो तो थोड़ा दिक्कत होता है अगर ये सही है दो फुट के ऊपर है आसपास है तो ये हम लोग का लेकर दे फिर इतने तो हम लोग पानी से इसको निकालते हैं उसके बाद इसका जो रूट वाला हिस्सा है वो काट देते हैं और जो पत्ता वाला हिस्सा है ऊपर वाला वो काट देते सिर्फ हम लोग स्टेम यूज़ करते हैं और इसके बाद वो ले जा कर अच्छी तरह से धो के साफ करके उसको सुखाते हैं सात दिन छः दिन में सूख जाता है उसके बाद हम लोग my whole approach was on sustainable livelihood. It is basically empowering the rural people. I am working here in Jalkumbi. I have been working here for a long time, two months. I have seen a lot of people and women here. They are working on Jalkumbi. मैंने मेरे घरवाले को भी बोला मामी लोग को भी बोला आम नदी के सामने है ना बोला जलकुंभ भी होगा तो उसको काट के रखना कुछ बना सकते हैं ना इसलिए इवन इफ यू रिमूव वाटर हाइसिंग व्हाई इट कम्स बैक बिकॉज़ द सीड लास्ट देयर फॉर थर्टी इयर्स सो दिस इज़ द मेन प्रॉब्लम सो और हियर व्हाट हैज हैपेंड Create product for it. Mumbai's infamous Meeti River's flow has been a boon for waste dumping and bane for the flooding. River Recycle has been working with the city corporations pro bono to recycle plastic and repurpose it with the right market collaborations. So what we do is basically uh, we start from community engagement where we uh, you know engage community we educate them we train them for livelihood we train them how to segregate at the source because segregation at the source is the real uh, you know key success factor for plastic problem globally actually we pick up all the floating debris bring them here and then we segregate and source here and uh, next uh, we send it for the next recycling process An eventual goal is to create circular economy for the plastic in coming years. I have come from Tamil Nadu. Why did you come here? It's been 20 years. I've been watching the river for 20 years. But when I came to this site, it's been 1 year. I've been told that I'm going to do this work. I'm going to do this work. Then I'm going to do this work. Then I'm going to do this work. Then I'm going to do this work. और जो भी हम लोग दोस्त लोग का कोई भी है सबका हम लोग मालूम है हम लोग ऐसे ऐसा काम कर रहे हैं दोस्त लोग बोल रहे हैं अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं तुम लोग एंड दे वर टेलिंग मी दैट व्हेन व्हेनेवर दे कम टू द साइट और व्हेनेवर दे आर गोइंग बैक होम देर लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टार्टेड यू नो गिविंग देम सम रेस्पेक्ट एक्चुअली बिकॉज दे सेज दैट वॉट यू आर डूइंग इज अ यू नो वेरी नॉबल थिंग इंटरनेशनली रिवर रिसाइकल पायलटेड दिस इनिशिएटिव एज अ सीएसआर प्रोजेक्ट विद हुतमाकी अ फिनिश पैकेजिंग कंपनी in India, it became a local partnership with Pyrotask Energy based in Khopoli, Maharashtra. The plastic waste sourced from Mumbai's rivers is converted into high-quality plastic pyrolysis oils required by the petrochemical industry to produce circular economy plastics, sustainable chemicals and fuels. And here, from plastic waste, fuel oil is made. कचरा कचरे में से जो प्लास्टिक वेस्ट आता है उसको हम पहले सेपरेट करते हैं 
और सेपरेट करने के बाद उसमें से मेटल सेग्रीगेट करते हैं और अच्छा वाला प्लास्टिक कलेक्ट करके गोनी में भर के लेते हैं तो बाद में ये मेल्ट होने के बाद प्लास्टिक मेल्ट होने के बाद इसके फ्यूम्स बननी चालू होती है वेपर बनती है ये वेपर वेपर लाइन से होके कंडेंसर टैंक्स की तरफ जाती है वहां पे वो कूल होके ऑयल ऑयल में कन्वर्ट होते हैं और बाद में हम ऑयल कलेक्ट करते हैं ये ऑयल हमारा वाटर सेपरेटर टैंक में आता है और बाद में वहीं से स्टोरेज टैंक में आता है तो हम लोगों ने अभी ये स्टैंड लिया है कि जो रिवर में प्लास्टिक के वजह से पोल्यूशन हो रहा है तो वो पोल्यूशन कम करने के लिए हम ज्यादा इंटरेस्टेड है और हम जितना भी प्लास्टिक आएगा उसको हम प्रोसेस करेंगे Nature regenerates and replenishes naturally but man has only chosen to receive and not return can we become join or support ecopreneurs to bring about this change if time is money and the rivers are pulse on time we must reclaim our natural flows because ultimately we are rivers